Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to make your Roblox game first person in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So the way you're going to achieve this in Roblox Studio is by locking the camera mode in your game. The way you're going to do this is go over to the Explorer tab in the right hand side of your screen and you're going to select Starter Player and once you have that selected, go to the bottom right hand side where it says properties and we're going to look for the camera mode. So once you find camera mode, you're going to click on the word classic and you're going to change that to lock first person. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do. And I want to make sure that when you're in camera mode, the camera max zoom distance, you want to change that to 0.5. And this is to avoid a glitch that some people uh, encounter, and you might still encounter it, so I'll show you what to do if you encounter the glitch. So in order to test this, you will go ahead and press play. And you want to go ahead and test anything that you change in your game, especially uh, when you're changing the zoom distance. So here you can see I'm in first person, and I can move around, I can jump. And so I've, in my, I've, I've locked now in my first person. Now you notice that I'm unable to use my mouse to click the stop button for the uh, game simulation. So in order to exit out of this, uh, one thing I do is press Windows, the Windows key on your computer, and then that will bring up your Windows, and then you can go ahead and then click around. Make sure while the Windows is up that you go ahead and bring your mouse over to click Stop. Um, now, uh, that works for some people. Uh, others say that uh, you can use uh, Shift and Escape, and then also Alt-Tab worked for some people as well. So that is one way that you can lock first person in the games that you're creating. Another way to do this is to do it with a script. And in order to uh, do that, I want to go ahead and undo what I did already. So I'll change this back to classic. Now I'm going to go ahead and try this with a script. So you want to go to Starter GUI, click on Starter GUI in your Explorer workspace, and then uh, click on Add. And you're going to add a local script. Make sure it's a local script and not a regular script. So now that you've got your local script started in your starter GUI, the script that you're going to want to use for this is local space player space equals space game dot players dot local player. And then you can see sometimes they'll pop up for you. And then you want to uh, go down to the next line and you're going to type in player dot camera mode so this is where you're going to change the camera mode for your player space and then equal sign and then another space enum and then you're going to have a period there and then camera mode and it'll pop up and then another period and then you can see you can pick either classic or fi lock first person so i'm going to double click on lock first person and so now this local script will be able to do the same thing we did earlier so now i'm going to go ahead and play the game and it should reflect in the script. Okay, so you can see now I'm in uh, first person again. And so I did it this time with a script rather than uh, with a, um, you know, the settings that I, with, with your game. You now know how to lock the first person camera mode in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.